Hello everyone. Welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable cat coaching. Now, before I discuss the solution for the question, let me quickly tell you that if you're a serious cat aspirant, then please follow these steps. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than this, students, if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges or different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other important links are also there in the description itself. Now, let us come to the question. I hope all of you have tried this. Now, this was not easy. Uh, it was slightly lengthy, I would say. So let us look at the best possible method here. Uh, now, students, it's better to start with the second equation because here we have x. We also have mod of x. Now, this x and mod of x uh, will get cancelled out. I'm assuming that x is negative. Okay, So if x is less than 0, I hope all of you know, then mod of x will be equal to minus of x. So ultimately, this equation will become 3 times y is equal to 1, which will give y is equal to 1 by 3. Now, if I put y is equal to 1 by 3 in this first equation, so from here I'll get 3 times x plus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 7, which will give 3 times x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 2. Now, mind you, we assume that x is negative, but we are getting x to be positive. That means our assumption is wrong x cannot be negative. So that means x has to be positive. x has to be positive. Now students, if x is positive, so now this particular equation would be 2 times x plus 3 times y is equal to 1. Now let's assume that y is positive. Assuming that y is positive, so now this first equation this would become 3 times x plus 3 times y is equal to 7. And the other equation was twice of x plus 3 times y is equal to 1. Now, if I subtract the two equations, I'll get x is equal to 6. Now, if we put x is equal to 6 in any of the equations, okay, uh, let's put x is equal to 6 in this particular equation. So we'll get 12 plus 3 times y is equal to 1, which will give 3y is equal to negative of 11. And y is coming out to be negative of 11 by 3. Now, mind you, we assumed y to be positive and we are getting y to be negative. That means y is not positive. So students, that means x is definitely positive And y is definitely negative. Now we'll directly get the two equations because X is positive and Y is negative. So this first equation would now become three times X minus of two Y plus Y. So that is minus of Y equal to seven and X plus X plus three Y. So that is two X plus three Y is equal to one. Now let's uh, multiply the first equation by three. So if I multiply the first equation by 3, I'll get 9x minus 3y is equal to 21. Now adding the two equations, we'll get 11 times x is equal to 22. x comes out to be 2. Now putting x is equal to 2 in the first equation. So we'll get 3 into 2, that is 6, minus y is equal to 7. So y comes out to be 6 minus 7, that is negative of 1. So x is 2 y is negative of 1. What is the value of x plus 2y? So x plus 2y, so that is 2 plus 2 into minus 1, that is negative of 2. So answer is coming out to be 0, which is option number 4. I hope this is clear to everyone. Thank you, everyone.